What is going on everybody? David here and today we're going to be taking a look at Big Paul Bear from the Jumanji toy line by Lennar Toys and I'm um, very happy to finally add this bear to the collection so let's go ahead and get right to it and um, the bear is already pre-cut so we're going to go ahead and remove the bear out the way and then we're going to take a look at this packaging and then the figure and then the collection update and then we'll close out the video. So this is your basic standard packaging for the Jumanji line. Um, if you recall that this is pretty much uh, the same stylized packaging that uh, Mattel did with their Jurassic uh, World Roarvores uh, line. And um, get the open style packaging box right there. You got the Jumanji logo right here. We got Smolder with the baboon and tiger down there. Big Paw Bear. And then we have uh, the finger indicating to press down the button and with the action feature right there. And then we got only at Walmart. And we have the, uh, uh, the sound logo right there that's uh, probably, in my opinion, I think is a, a panther. So that's their logo that they use to indicate that it does make sound. And so right here we got um, Jumanji here. At the, at the top and uh, the side Jumanji right there and then we have the Jumanji logo there and below it we have the hippo the rhino and we got another picture of smolder right there and then you know I just wanted to take a quick look at this uh, card back here and I love the fact that uh, they were able to uh, cover the whole box full of the this jungle uh, style packaging here on the inside you know very nice and lavish and everything so very happy about that and then at the bottom here is the uh, uh information about the batteries you know battery warnings and helpful hints and then it shows you how to uh, uh replace the batteries right there and here is the upc if you're interested in finding this uh bear at your local uh, walmart and then on the back of the packaging we have uh, Jumanji right there, Big Paw Bear at the top, and then we have The Adventure Awaits. So if you want to pause the video and read that, you may. And then we have a prototype image of the bear right there. We have the finger indicating going down, but we've got the arrow pointing, letting you know where the button is. And then it says Realistic Bear Sounds. And then here is the, uh, the uh, logo for the... <clears throat> sound that it makes it says action and head movement and then collect them all and uh, I've already done reviews for the uh, uh, the elusive jaguar and we got the, the tiger and then I have not picked up the line yet but we'll get into that towards the end of the video so that is the packaging for Big Paul Bear so let's go ahead and bring out the bear and take a closer look at it now I really like this figure a lot um, a lot of people didn't which is understandable but you know you could tell that it is um, a little little plain but it is an animal it's something that's alive and well today and um, they're not the most uh, beautiful creatures out there when it comes to color schemes and stuff so uh, but the overall sculpting of it and how the texture of the fur and um, the head sculpt and everything, it's just spot on. And for the price point that you're paying for this particular figure is amazing. It's only, what, $10, I think. And uh, it's, it's a great figure, you know. And if you're into collecting animal toys or figures and stuff, this is the way to go. You know, this is the line that you should be able to get into and collect. So anyways, let's go ahead and take a closer look at this thing. Um, like I said, I really love this sculpt. It's just basically one solid, and this is a weighty figure. This is a heavy figure and, um, really like the sculpting of this. I mean, look at the texture, you know, the fur and you could tell it what the muscle structure is and how they sculpted that in there, even though it's covered by the fur. But if you go down here, you can tell the muscles and in the arms, the forearms, and and then here's uh, the the back of the figure right there, and uh, there's the front of the figure, <clears throat> and there is the head sculpt right there. Look at that! That is an amazing head sculpt right there. And then you can see where the texture in the neck is with the muscle, you know. 
Then here is the other side of the front. The side, and you can tell where the uh, layered the muscle is, where the fur is, right there. And then here is the other side of the uh, figure right here. And the only paint that they really have is down below where the uh, forearm is and down to where the feet are. So, very well done right there. They didn't have to paint the, 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 the feet, you know, like that. But they did, you know. And I think it's very cool. Very awesome right there. Really like that a lot. And then as far as the head sculpt goes, look at that. You know, very nicely detailed right there. The nose. And then with the, the with the teeth. Wait, get this focus here right there. They did a great job with the teeth. Each teeth is individually painted. You know, you get the, the tongue right there. And then the, the top of the gums right there. So very nicely done. Look, he's even even got layers in the gums. For some reason it doesn't want to focus. Alright. There you go. Now you can see the layers of the of the gum line and stuff, so that, that's really cool right there. So very nice. And the eyes are on point too as well. So I really like the eyes. So But anyways, uh, like I said, it's a, it's a great sculpt. I really love it. And so, and then as far as the um, articulation goes, not much. But here in the front, you get that much movement right there at the legs. And then you get a lot of movement in the back right here on this side. But you can't go forward because of the gap right there. And then here on the other side... Same thing. It doesn't go all the way back. Well, yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. <laughs> and then here in the front, it's just barely moving right there. And then you got the articulated jaw right there. So, love the fact that it closes all the way like that. And so, the only downside is you got that little gap right there, but that's okay though. You're not displaying it to look underneath. So, and then here underneath, you know, there's the sound box and everything. <clears throat> so so then right here this is where the action feature is I love the fact that they was able to have the feature right there but you know they was able to blend it in with uh, the rest of the fur and the figure right there so if you see, have it sit down like this you're not going to be able to really notice it so let's go ahead and get this guy in line and then let's go ahead and check out the uh the sounds. Um, I think this only comes with one sound, so let's go ahead and try it. So it does only come with one sound, and that's fine, you know. And I think it has a very realistic bear sound, in my opinion. Uh, but overall, I'm very happy with this figure, you know, I love this figure a lot, you know, just mainly because of the, the incredible sculpting that they did and how they came out for uh, the price point that it did and what you're getting for. So kudos to Leonard for that, you know. So let's go ahead and uh, do some size comparisons with a couple of figures. So <clears throat> here is Monroe from the, the Congo line. And then here is... Uh, uh, three and three quarters uh, snake eyes right there. So, and then I want to bring out a vehicle. And here is the net trapper from the uh, the Lost World uh, toy line by Kenner. And uh, that pretty much goes in scale right there I think in my opinion that's that's about right it's about in scale if, if you if you're going for accuracy that's about right for for what this uh, figure is and how big it is so I think it looks really nice like that now will it be able to trap this with this thing no because I think the bear would just tear it to shreds you know so very great awesome scaling right there 
All right, so let's go ahead and do some uh, collection update. So we got our bear right here. So then here is our tiger and jaguar. Then we can move our bear over here. Then here is our charging rhino. We'll put the rhino right over here. So let's get this back. So and then here is our massive hippo. Maybe I need to move that over there and put the rhino over there. It's massive hippo takes up a lot of room. So and then we have Smolder right here. And then we got the random dude right there. <laughs> so that was uh, taking a look at the uh, Big Paw Bear. Uh, so um, the other things I need for this collection to complete is I do need to get the uh, the baby elephant. And then I would like to get that uh that pack that comes with the lion. Um, I know that there's plenty of the single carded lions, but I do want the pack that comes with the lion because it comes with like a wild boar and a vulture and a, and a cheetah. So those are things I want to add to the, to my Jumanji collection. And also there is another pack that's a little bit bigger that comes with the rhino, but it also comes with a smolder and um, a jeep, I think a wolf, and I think a, a bald eagle, I think. I'm not sure. But I can't seem to find that one anywhere. So hopefully one day I'll be able to get my hands on that. And uh, yeah, because I want that Jeep and, and the rest of those animals, you know. So anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did filming it. Uh, comment down below what you think of this uh, uh, Big Paul bear. And um, if you have this in your collection, are you looking to collect the Jumanji line? Let me know. And don't forget, buy what you love and not what you like. Because if you buy what you like... You will always end up getting rid of it. And I will catch y'all later.